In last video, we have already learned what is a chemical reaction, what are the char characteristics of chemical reaction, and also we started with types of the uh, types of chemical reaction in which we discussed decomposition reaction. So decomposition, as we learned, any reaction in which a single reactant breaks to give two or more products is called a decomposition reaction. Obviously, a substance will not break on its own. It may require energy. Okay, it, this energy can be in the form of heat. It can be in the form of light or it can be in the form of electricity. So, last time we have already discussed this and we discussed about three types of decomposition reactions. And if you remember examples also, we discussed, for example, for heat, thermo means heat, calcium carbonate on heating decomposes to give CaO and CO2. Electrolysis. I can break NaCl, molten NaCl. I pass electricity through it. I get Na and Cl2. Photolysis, if I use light, sunlight, for example, silver chloride, H nu is a symbol of light, decomposes to give silver and chlorine. So these are the decomposition reactions. Have you ever thought what will happen if if we reverse this, means I am, what I am doing? I am taking one reactant. I am taking one reactant, giving heat or electricity to it and it gives simpler products. But for example, I take carbon, Heat it with oxygen, what I'll get? CO2. I take calcium oxide, pass carbon dioxide through it, I get CaCO3. So, these reactions in which there are two or more reactants, but we get a single product. So these are complementary. One type of reaction was when one reactant gives simple products. Now we are using simpler reactants to give one product. So these two reactions are complementary to each other. So if we call this type of a reaction as decomposition reaction, because it is breaking now, then this type of reaction, we will call it as combination reactions. Okay, for two examples, similarly, H2NO2 give water, Na and Cl2 will give you NaCl. So these are some examples of combination reaction. The only difference is, in combination reactions, in combination reactions, we have one product. In decomposition reactions, we have one reactant. Okay. So, first type of reactions we have discussed right now is combination. Second is decomposition reaction. Now, to discuss the third type of reaction, let us take some examples. Can you see these examples here? What we have done here? Iron, we have added to copper sulfate. Zinc, we have added to copper sulfate. Magnesium metal, we have added to copper sulfate. What has happened? This you have read in your junior classes also. That this iron is coated with copper 
and the blue color copper sulfate changes to green color of ferrous sulfate this type of reaction is called displacement reaction similarly zinc and copper sulfate mix together and this type of also reaction zinc is more reactive than copper so zinc displaces copper from copper sulfate again this is displacement reaction here also copper and magnesium we have taken copper sulfate so magnesium sulfate plus copper so all these reaction involve color change so that is why we call these as chemical reaction and because here a more reactive element displaces a less reactive element we call this as a displacement reaction so this is the third type of chemical reaction where a more reactive element displaces a less reactive element this can be a metal or me metal displaces a metal non metal displaces a non metal or metal may displace non metal also for example zinc and h2so4 so in general a plus bc gives b plus ac now to understand the last type of chemical reaction we can see in this slide there are two solutions which are mixed together one is barium chloride and the other is sodium sulfate as soon as they mix together we see a white ppt settled at the bottom of the test tube this mm -hmm. insoluble substance formed again because a new substance is formed it is a chemical reaction and in this case if we see barium another example is given here barium chloride ammonium sulfate again as soon as we mix them we again get a white ppt so this white ppt in soluble substance we call it as precipitate and it is also known as a precipitation reaction also if you note carefully here what is happening see naso4 na2so4 barium chloride when they mix na takes the place of barium we get nacl and barium sulfate so here na has changed exchanged from sulfate it has now taken its uh, compound has now formed its compound with chlorine so there is an exchange of ion taking place between the reactants so such a type of reaction is called double displacement reaction okay so i hope you have understood the four type of reactions okay four type of reactions and some uh, one was combination decomposition displacement and this is double displacement reaction here also agno3 and nacl we get agcl and nano3 again there is an exchange of ion between na and ag and na therefore ag plus and na plus so we call this as a double displacement reaction why now this is an important question which may come why does a precipitate form in double displacement precipitation occurs when cation of one and anion of one whenever an insoluble substance will be formed we call it as a precipitation so most precipitates it is not always it is not always precipitation reactions mostly generally they are formed in a displacement reaction okay so i hope you have understood the type four types of chemical reaction which we have learned now today that is displacement combination double displacement and decomposition reactions thank you keep watching in the next video we will continue with this chapter and we will talk about balancing of chemical reaction reactions thank you bye bye